Hello everyone, my name is Adam Khan. This is Cooking with Adam Khan and Lijou. Today I'm going to cook you a quick and simple chicken franchise dish. Um, I put all the ingredients right here so you can see it's really simple and easy and it doesn't even take a whole lot of ingredients. Uh, I've got the chicken stock that I made off, I've got white wine, I've got a little bit of olive oil. Well, I got a lot of olive oil. I got a beautiful chicken that I butterflied earlier and pounded out to make it nice and thin. Um, some garlic, a little bit of parsley, these beautiful Meyer lemons, um, just some flour and some butter. Uh, those are, that's everything you need. And if you follow along, you'll see how quick and easy it is. I think you'll really shock your family with, with this delicious dish. So stick around. I'll bring you over to the cooktop and we'll go from there. I did forget to mention one other ingredient and I actually haven't even whisked them yet because I want to show. Um, these are good eggs. See how orange the yolk is? That's the sign of a really fresh good egg. So if you're going to cook eggs as well, I, I would if if you're if you want, I'd spend the extra money get some really good eggs. It makes a huge difference. Anyway, I'm going to whisk those up. I'm probably going to show you how I egg wash and the the chicken breast before coming over to the, the cooktop. So give me a second. So normally I would do this as I'm cooking the dish, but I only have my phone that I record with. So I want you guys to be able to see the pan while I cook and I don't think you'd be able to see it. Now, most things that we bread or flour, we do the flour and then the egg wash. But when you're cooking a franchise, you, you reverse it. You do egg and then flour and it creates this coating on it that, that is kind of what gives the franchise the franchise. So, real quick and then I'll put it back on the plate and we'll use this, this when we go cook, cook right into your egg wash, right? Just like that. And then straight into the flour, which will create a breading on top of it and coat that real well. So, and then we'll be ready to cook with this. And I'll just make sure all of it's covered in some of the flour, but pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, if you have any questions, obviously just always chime in and ask, but that's all there is to it. All I've done is gotten the pan ready and, and put it on medium heat. Um, not too hot so I don't burn anything like I've done in some of my other videos. So we're going to do a little bit of olive oil. We'll let that warm up a bit and we'll add a little bit of garlic as well. Uh, I tend to use more garlic than almost any recipe recommends or has in the ingredients. So feel free to copy me or not. I just, I love garlic. I got this great garlic press that I like to use when I cook most of my dishes. So that's going all right. And we'll now give it a second or two just to have the garlic diffuse and spread around in there a bit. Get that flavor through all the, the olive oil. And now I'll get our beautiful chicken in there and give that a little bit of time to cook. Now we'll just let that cook for a couple seconds and, and we'll flip it over in about two or three minutes. <laughs> I assume you all can see the pan just fine. It will take a good couple of minutes while that cooks and, and heats up. The, the next step, it's really simple. We got the, we'll add the white wine to, to glaze it a bit. Then we'll add some lemon juice and some chicken stock and a little bit of butter. The lemons are really what gives it the flavor along with the, the coating. And we're going to put it on some pasta to eat with a little bit of parsley on top of that. So really, Frances, if you like lemon, it is awesome. Uh, similar to a piccata, but it doesn't have the capers. One of the things we sell a lot of in the restaurant when we used to do it. I'm sure my uh, family will be thrilled to have it for lunch or dinner today. Mm. Take a look, see how it's looking here. I'm sure it needs a little more time. Yeah. And it'll cook in the liquid as well, but it's nice to get a little bit of coating on there to, to kind of seal the outside before you cook the inside. I find it makes it more tender that way. 
um, similar to the steak or anything else. You just want to get it sealed real quick. And then the rest can cook any way you want to keep it tender. And see how it's got that coating and coloring on there? Now we can turn the flame up a tiny bit. You have to be careful when adding the butter because you don't want it to start to separate. You want it hot enough to keep it cooking and hot, but you want to have it where the, the butter doesn't start to separate the oils from the, the creams in it. So we want about four or five ounces of the white wine. Maybe three or four ounces of chicken stock. You want a good three ounces of butter. Butter is part of the flavor and all of it too, not just for helping things not stick. So we'll get a little bit of the butter in there. Nice big chunk. And that'll cook down too. Now you can always put the butter in, in flour if you want to do a roux of sorts to help thicken the sauce. But I like letting the sauce thicken naturally. I find the flavors come through a bit better. Um, but, but I know plenty of people who do it that way. And then I got my little handy dandy strainer for the lemon juice. You really don't need it if you don't want it. You know, there's nothing wrong with having a pit in, in there. I, I like it much better than buying the pre-done lemon juice. Sometimes those are really over strong and not quite the flavor I want. But, but these, you know, you get a good fresh Meyer lemon and squeeze it much nicer. All right, so I used about a half lemon again. You guys can use that to, to however you like it. More lemon, less lemon is just fine. And then we'll let that cook for four or five minutes and thick, thicken up. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. It really does. I'm telling you, I keep joking about it. Anybody ever comes up with smell of vision that's the that's the next one. Ooh. Got lemon, butter, garlic, white wine. I mean I mean really what what could go wrong? And then see how the coating on the chicken? I don't know if you can see it in the video. That that's kind of what you're looking for in a franchise. It's not a traditional like if you breaded something. Um between the egg and the flour, it's got this little bit of eggy-ness to it without being like egg. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but, but really, that's kind of what it is. Hmm. Just because I love it so much, I'm going to add a little bit more garlic, but really, that's just because I love garlic. I have this great garlic press, too, that I bought that I like to use got great features that push the, the garlic off of the little holes, helps to clean it and everything. Oh, it's looking great. I don't know if you guys can see, but that looks awesome. Anyway, I'm going to put you on pause, let it finish cooking for a little bit, and then we'll put it on top of the pasta and plate it. So one thing I also like to do is I like to toss the pasta in the liquid. So I take the chicken out and I'm going to move it right onto a plate. I already had some pasta done. You get that right into the liquid. The starch of the pasta and everything else, when you toss it, thickens up the pasta, or thickens up the liquid, coats the pasta with your sauce. And I'll turn the flame off and I'm going to put that right into the dish that I'm serving with. So that now all the liquids cover all the pasta. And then I'll move the chicken right on top of there. I know you don't see it right now. But we're going to get that on there. I'm going to put a little bit of parsley on top as well. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like. And I'm also going to put a tiny little lemon on there that I kind of look, look. And I'll bring the camera over so I can show you a picture. There you go. Simple, easy chicken franchise. All I did is take a little lemon, slice it, and then squeeze, put it on both sides like that.
And that's it. Awesome. Well, normally I have my son or my wife try it, but I'm pressed on time and I'm the only one home. So I'm going to get to sample my Frances, which is a little bit of cheating because I know I like it. I like most of the things I cook. So I'm going to start with the chicken. Mm. Really, it came out pretty tender. I'm going to try the pasta. It looked like I was a little low on the sauce. I'll see if it was. Probably would have done a little bit more next time. Mm. But good. Forgive me. You know, nice lemony, garlicky, really strong flavors of the butter and the lemon in there. Came out great. Anyway, I hope you guys follow along. Give a subscribe, thumbs up. Make some comments. Let me know if you tried it yourself and, and tell me what you think. Have a great day and we'll, we'll be back soon. Well, I cheated a bit and I made another one because I, I didn't love how much sauce was in it. So I'll let my wife try that one and then we'll see how she reacts and, and post the video from there. Have a great day, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. I'm going to try this. So excited. Bread and tender. Oh, my God, this tastes like guacos. <laughs> Seriously. Cool.